All right, another episode of what the hell I'm doing in my train room. Uh, this is what I did last night after I went off live when I did the uh, 73 car tank train. <clears throat> As you can see, everything is still where it's at. Uh, I worked on the track over here on the closet branch. It kept going out. The engine kept falling off for some strange reason. So I just took out the whole piece and just redid, uh, just put a whole one section piece in there and fixed that. Uh, that uh, After that, I uh, test ran, I did three or four, four test runs and so far everything is fine. Um, this week, um, my plan is to uh, fix some more springs. As you can see, I have like quite a bit of, about enough to do that. Um, the next thing is to uh, take my version 5 decoder, which is over there, my lock sound version 5 decoder, and switch it out. Um, Ooh. I'm gonna switch it and put it in one of these engines that doesn't has it. Uh, one two seven, uh, 2015, uh, one two seven has a version five. Uh, this one has a version four, a older, later version of the version four. So I'm gonna take that one out and put that version five in it, so that I can get uh, my engines a little bit more sounding like uh, a Jivo in the version five. Um, these babies here, I love those babies. Um, nothing's, I'm not doing a damn thing with them. They probably just go back over here to the uh, engine house and stay there for the rest of the week. I don't want to uh, work hard the hell out of them. Um, and uh, try to do some switching. Take all of this and try to do switching uh put everything where it needs to be which is going to be virtually impossible when you got a full yard but nevertheless i have this to uh set out the cards and i have plenty of space to do that um so that will be um what i'll be doing uh, starting over I'll, i got up to four cycles almost four and a half, three and a half, almost four, but uh, yeah, this layout is, I gotta say, this is a little simple, but there is challenges, more, a little challenge here and there uh, uh, when I'm switching, because I gotta remember what I'm doing, I gotta completely remember what I'm doing. Uh, besides lining the switches, making sure because it's a little bit confusing on which line is which. When you got a mount, when you, instead of a straight section, you have a curved section, and sometimes you can get confused on which switch is which in the yards. So I got this switch and this switch, and this switch right here throws me off because it goes into the engine house. Probably gonna have to switch it over to this side so I don't get confused because that's majority of what's going on there. On the other end, <clears throat> um, almost the same situation, but there is only two switches as well. The switch that uh, goes in the track three, and this switch, which goes from uh, from goes into track one. The only other switch is this switch that goes into the wash rack, and I'm thinking about adding another line to the wash rack because I need more cars in there. I want to be able to, to pull and set up at least six to seven cars so that I will have enough cars to uh, uh, cycle in to four rail, two rail. Um, and with that uh, track over here to feed, the, uh, feed this after we take all the cars from the wash rack. I want to make sure to maintain some amount of cars over there. Um, so far, so good. It has worked very well, and uh, I like that. I like that. It works. 
it, it's, it's working pretty good. Anywho, uh, other than that, this is a um, this is by far another good layout. It's a little good layout. Um, I know a lot of them are struggling with ideas on how to start up a layout or build a layout, a floor plan. Sometimes the best layout is the one that comes up in your head. Um, this one was designed in my head over a period of three to four days, for almost a week before I even decided it. And then I just started writing it down on a piece of paper. I knew I wanted the four rail, the uh, four rail uh, prototypical style back in here, and I did put that in there. That was the number one thing I wanted there because that's a very challenging switching job with that. And then the next thing I wanted to do was take out the table, but find a solution to take out the table that was here, and then put the chemical plant on 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 her some kind of way. And that was the solution by putting it on one side and widen the table out wide enough on one side. So this is a three foot table. This is three feet, two feet, two feet, two feet. So I, in the beginning I thought about reducing this all the way around to 18 inches and then leave the middle table in here but make the middle table longer. I didn't like that idea that that I shot that down before when I came up with a uh, three foot section because I was thinking about my friend who has a three foot section three foot go all his whole layout sits on a three foot table that goes all the way around the layout so I was like okay he has he has three feet all the way around and he has a three foot table in the middle and he still have walking room at least three feet of walking room on both sides so that lets you know how big is uh, building that he built for it and then he added on another section so the building is like an L shape so in other words if I can draw this this building is like this in the layout goes all the way around like an L and then here there's the table so as you can see this is the added section and he's been adding on that for almost a year now and I told him in the beginning that you might as well go on and put that middle table in and he's like oh man I ain't gonna do that I ain't gonna do that I'm gonna keep it around the door yeah you lied he went on and put the middle table in so this is three feet all the way around and then this table is three feet and it goes like this goes in there goes around comes out it goes all the way around just like that he has two mains one on the front sometimes it varies on the on the back he has a branch that starts up here and goes all the way up there that's this locking branch uh, the one in the video that I took a few years ago that is his layout uh, it's quite big it's a big layout but uh, that's just an idea of what he what he did over the past two years on his layout just going into the third third year I believe um, so uh, take your time first thing first always build your tables set up your tables and then if you got a floor plan or idea on prototypical if it's prototypical go with the prototypical but always remember prototypical takes up more space than anything else than a normal layout so always if you're gonna do a prototypical do your homework make sure you do your homework because sometimes you're gonna have to condense some things uh, when you're doing a prototypical layout 
So always remember that. Not prototypical, you don't have to worry about it. This is not a prototypical layout. This is an idea out of the head uh, of a chemical plant. Most chemical plants run in a circle around the facility. Um, some run differently, but at the end of the day, the, the, the way the system runs is very fluid. Uh, there is um, quite a few that don't run in a circle, but the way the system's set up, uh, like I think the one in Tennessee, which is our sister plant from the Eastman plant, it doesn't run in a circle. It runs in a straight line somewhat. Um, in other words, they bring the cars here and they set them in the, at the top. Then they pull the cars to the next yard for the commissary. I call it the commissary yard where they hold all the cars that needs to be washed and are loaded or empty or whatever. Um, oil, sand, whatever. And that yard and then the final yard is the uh, outbound pretty much yard and then they block these cars going that way so it's sort of like a, a straight line system it's different in ways but you have to say it it's a little bit confusing but it works for them but um, like I said this week is gonna be real simple nothing major do some more cleaning up, straighten up. Um, scenery wise, uh, I got another week to wait. I said I was gonna wait about two, maybe three weeks before I start throwing down scenery. Uh, make sure I like the system. It, yes, I do like the system, but I wanna wait a little bit longer uh, before I start doing anything. Uh, checking out um, some more stuff. But other than that, that's pretty much it on the layout so it's time for me to walk out the door to go to work y'all be safe you know what to do stay uh, stay in stay home if you have to if not do what you need to do and get back home all right god bless happy monday and see y'all later bye